Tesla has just announced a milestone when it comes to 4680 cell production. The number of cells they've made is now a milestone, but I think what's probably even more important than that is what the Volkswagen Group are doing now. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Tesla has announced what is a fairly significant milestone in ramping up 4680 battery cell production at the Gigafactory in Texas. They've confirmed they've produced 10 million cells at that plant. Now, this doesn't include the cells they've produced at their facility in Cato Road, which is in California. That's another battery location. And of course, Tesla has just hired a 210,000 square foot facility down the road from Fremont's factory in California, where they'll also build more 4680 cells. However, Tesla has announced that at Gigafactory Texas, they've produced 10 million cells. Sounds decent, but it isn't actually that many yet. They've got a long way to go because that's enough for about 12,000 Model Y vehicles, about 12,000 electric cars. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, Gigafactory Berlin is producing about 5,000 vehicles per week. They're not producing batteries there, by the way, but about 5,000 vehicles per week. The majority of the batteries being used there are coming from CATL or BYD in China. They're lithium iron phosphate battery cells, which are actually proving to be quite good and to be very reliable. And of course, they have very, very low degradation rates. So for example, now the Powerwall, Tesla's new Powerwall, they've just reduced the price by about $500. So you can get a $500 credit if you get it installed this year. But in those Powerwalls now, they come with lithium iron phosphate cells. And people are saying, making comments like this I've seen online, oh, by the time you get a payback, the battery degradation will have been so great, it will be of no value to you. Power walls don't make sense. That's 100% false. If you read this, don't believe that information. It is categorically false. Put it this way. There are buses, there are buses, right, that have been driven around, they've done more than 500, 600,000 kilometers. People take the batteries out of those buses. The BYD batteries, the lithium ion phosphate batteries, they use them for energy storage because they've still got plenty of life left in them. You can imagine how long these battery packs will last for your home energy storage. Probably decades. Not probably, almost certainly. So they're really good batteries. Very different to 4680 cells. 4680 cells, of course, use nickel, cobalt, manganese in the cell. And so it's quite a different chemistry to the lithium, iron, and phosphate that you find in the LFP cells. Tesla chose to go on this route quite a few years ago. However, they were aiming to they said, they use this phrase, manufacture them like Coke bottles. So you know when you see a Coke factory and you see those production lines and they're, they're just insanely fast and they're just do, 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 do. they want to do something like that. They think that that's where they can get to. So if Tesla got a fair way to get to the, that point yet, but that's the direction that they're heading in. Mass, 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 fast production. The actual energy density of the cells wasn't as important. And remember, the dry electrode process is something they're still working on, which the Volkswagen Group are now working on as well. Not for Tesla, for their own battery cells. Now, a lot of people say that 4680 cells are not a good idea. I told you that it wouldn't work. Tesla was wrong. But if that were the case, I'm very curious to know what your thoughts are on why BMW, General Motors, even Volkswagen have all said that they will be a significant part of what they focus on in the future. 4680 cells. In particular, BMW and General Motors in particular have both confirmed they are working on their own versions of these exact cells. If they were so inferior, as many of the armchair uh, commenters say, then I'm curious to know why you think these companies that are worth many billions of dollars have come to this conclusion after having years of looking at different battery cells, looking at different battery packs. And we're talking engineers here that work at these companies, not armchair experts. We're talking actual battery engineers that work at these companies making these decisions. That's what I'm curious to know. If it's such a bad idea, if the 4680 cell, why are they doing it? Now, I'm actually genuinely curious because no one's ever given a rational, reasonable, logical explanation for why they've come to the conclusion that Tesla's 4680 cells are a bad idea and won't work. Tesla actually initially started producing these cells, not in Texas, but at Cato Road, the facility in Northern California, which is actually near the Fremont factory. And they expanded the 4680 manufacturing at Gigafactory Texas after vehicle production began. And they've been using the batteries in the all-wheel drive Model Y. So if you buy 
a standard range, about 280 miles for the standard range Model Y, which is a dual motor vehicle. That one comes with 4680 cells. It's the only car that Tesla sells now worldwide with those particular battery cells in them. A lot of people say that Tesla's plan is to use 4680 cells in the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck is only made to use 4680s. Uh, it's a disaster because, because Tesla can't actually mass manufacture enough 4680 cells because as you can see, these numbers are not that significant. The Cybertruck can't be produced in big numbers until 4680 mass production happens. It doesn't work. I'm curious to know for these people who are saying this, how is it that Tesla is able to put lithium ion phosphate batteries in structural battery packs? Because they're already doing it. You know, they're already doing this in Tesla Model Ys. How is that happening? I mean, if they can only use 4680s in the Cybertruck, if that's all it's made for, how is that already happening? How are Tesla already doing that in other cars? You got to pay attention when you make these comments, whether or not they make sense. The truth is Cybertruck, it can use lithium ion phosphate cells. It's not as difficult as you think. Tesla have a pretty damn good long range of experience with making that happen. So that's what I believe Tesla will do. I believe that they'll use LFP cells in the Cybertruck, not for all models, but for some of them. Now, I could be wrong on that, but if you look at the size of the battery pack in the Tesla Model Y at the Gigafactory in Berlin, it's not very big. And they're getting a good range. They're getting 450 kilometers of range in the real world. Testing recently has shown us that. 450 kilometers of range in the real world from basically what is a 59 kilowatt hour capacity usable battery pack, 450 kilometers from LFP cells. Other manufacturers are getting a lot less than that in smaller cars. They're actually a good solution. So 4680 cells in combination with LFP, I believe is a future for Tesla. Not one by itself, but both of these in concert. And if you look at Tesla's master plan, well, they seem to be suggesting the same thing. So when did Tesla begin producing 4680s? Well, production began on 4680 cells in Q3 of 2022. So Tesla has increased production pretty significantly since then, seeing as they've made 10 million cells since they started producing them in the third quarter of 2022. Last year, Elon Musk said, according to Teslarati, that 4680s would be an important part of Tesla's plans in 2023. Clearly, ramping up production of the cells and getting more 4680 packs into the company's electric vehicles is the goal moving forward. And hopefully Tesla can reach a point where they are not limited with how many vehicles they can build as cell constraints have been an industry-wide issue for years. So yeah, it's going to be a challenge for Tesla to get the batteries that they need. But like I said, I think they also plan on building their own LFP factory. So they should have like a 4680 factory or several of them where they'll produce batteries more than likely in Mexico as well that will work sort of in concert with 4680s. 4680s and LFP, that's what I think. But let me know in the, in the comments what you think. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.